And, and, and she was called to do the work of God. She was in a relationship with somebody, and this person was, was not really you know, in love with her, but she was in love with her. And what did this lady do? She called this man and said, I want to meet you when they met. And she said, you know what? Uh, I realized that you don't love me. And I would rather have chosen God instead of you. So you can go and enjoy yourself with other men. Other women. Amen? Amen. If you can go and enjoy yourself with other women. I don't even care. But I would rather save God than save me. And it was painful for her. And this man uh, thought, oh, what can she do? Where can she go? Where will she find a man? Eh? Where will she find a man? And this woman went. And this woman, every day, every, this is a true story, every day this woman, she was seeking God. And she was praying. And do you know what she was using? The blood of Jesus. Because this woman, this man used to look down upon her and think that she's an ugly woman. But every day she would wake up and say, the blood of Jesus, beautify me, beautify me. There is life in the blood of Jesus. There is life in the blood of Jesus. Beautify me, make me to grow. That wherever I go, I will meet the right men. I will do the right things. And I want to do your work, Lord. Beautify me every day. She would take Holy Communion and take it in her house and drink it and say, I'm holding this Holy Communion. This is the blood of Jesus. I'm taking it and beautify me, make me strong, make me the woman that you have called me to be. And she was doing that every day, every day, and every day, and every day. And one day, God showed up in her dream and said, I've seen that you have let go of something that you really loved. You really loved this man, but you have let go of this guy because of me. And I'll never embarrass you. I'll never put you to shame. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to glorify you. I'm going to, to, to make it public so that people will know, including that guy, you will know that I am God. Amen? Amen. So she was given a man she never thought. She never thought that this man would marry me. And this guy just came to her and said, when the, after their wedding day, and, and on, on their, in the, when they had gone to their honeymoon, and this guy said, darling. <laughs> said, darling, I bought a house. I bought a house. But I don't know whether you like it. <laughs> I want us to go and see it. This house is paid cash. And I, I don't know whether you like it. If you don't like it, tell me the area that you want to go and live. Amen? Amen. I'm telling you, girls, give up some things that are not right in your life. Let it go. Let it go. And say, tell me the area that you want to go and live. And on top of that, I don't want you to work. I don't want you to do anything. But if you have got a project that you are thinking of, I'll give you half a million as a present of fulfilling, of making me complete to be a man with a wife. Amen? Amen. This is what our God can do. He can change our destiny. He can change our stories. The life of Esther, what did the, the wife of that king, the king who married Esther, what did that wife do wrong? Did she do anything wrong? No. Imagine that the, the, that woman, the king, just wanted to go and dance naked and show you people that she's naked. And because of that, she was divorced. So that what? A child of God will come and stay in that place. Amen? Amen. So God can cause somebody to be shifted yes. so that you are there. Yes. Amen? Amen? This is God. Let's save it. Amen? Amen? And in the book of Revelation, I'm just closing. In the book of Revelation, it says... <coughs> This is just a pro promise of God. We are not supposed to pursue the promises, but we are supposed to, to pursue the giver of those promises. Amen? It says in chapter 21, it says, the new Jerusalem, when we are now transformed and we are living with him, and he is giving us our crowns and saying, well done, Barbara. Well done for what you did. He said, he will remove all of my sorrows. Amen? And there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. For the old world and its evils are gone forever. Amen? 
and the one sitting on the throne saying, look, I'm making all things what? New. new. Amen. He's making all things new. And then he said, write this down. For what I tell you is trustworthy and true. Amen? Amen. It is what? It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I will give the springs of the water of life without charge. He's not going to charge it to you. You are going to get it for free. So pursue this God. Amen? Amen. 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 Father God, we thank you, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, for your word, O Lord. We thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to worship you, to know you, and to study about you, O Lord. Lord, you are great. Lord, you are wonderful, O Lord. Your children in this house, especially the youth, O Lord, my God, we pray that you give them direction. We pray that you give them direction, O Lord. We pray that you bring them out of darkness, O Lord, and may they walk in your light, O Father God. These are our future leaders, O Lord. These are our future children, O Lord. These are our future lawyers. These are our future prime ministers of this land. These are our future pastors and leaders of the church. Lord, stir up something in them, O Lord. Stir up something in them, O Lord. Even the old people who are here, O Lord. Lord, help them, O Lord, to pursue you. To let go of a lot of things in their lives. But pursue you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. What are you saying to our dear elder Ruth Barbara? Oh, I did hear you. Hallelujah. The Lord has spoken. Leave something. Give us something. Hallelujah. Let's spend some few minutes in prayer. I don't know what God wants to do. I strongly believe that the Lord was speaking to him. Hallelujah. Let's rise up and spend some few minutes in prayer. Let's ask God. I mean, what, uh, you know your life, you know what you're going through, right? You know what you're supposed to give up. And let's let's pray. Let's, let's go to God in prayer and say, Lord, this is what is it's, it's a stumbling block in my life. And I want to give up today. Lord, help me. Pray. Let's spend some few minutes in prayer. Let's pray. Whatever you think is, is, is hindering you. Pray, pray. God, I, I give up this. Whatever you think, maybe anger. It may be all forgiveness. Whatever you think is not right in your life, let's confess it and let's give up. If God has called you to serve you and you're not serving him, it's right time you talk to God, Lord, this time I will tell you, I will be serving you, Lord. I give up everything that is hindering me.
Thank you. 
and the summons were again. They took him to two cakes. Wow. Hey, let's go to these cakes here. Wow. <laughs> one for the change too. Hey. Wow. What is the first time Mr. Samoans? Are they here?